Welcome to the lesson on comparing numbers using symbols. In another lesson, the lesson on the number line, you are introduced to many comparative symbols. This lesson will review those symbols and provide you with strategies to remember what each symbol says and how to use them. As we have seen, in mathematics we use a few key symbols that are universally understood no matter the language. These symbols include the equal sign, the greater than and less than sign, the multiplication and division symbols, the addition sign, and the subtraction symbol. In this lesson, we are going to focus on the comparative symbols, equal, not equal, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. Now a number line is a complete line, extending into infinity in both positive and negative numbers. As we move to the right on a number line, the bigger the numbers. When moving to the left, the numbers get smaller. Symbolically, the greater than and less than sign can be thought of as the head on that arrow. On a number line, the farther to the left a number is, the smaller it is. For example, when comparing negative 2 to positive 3, negative 2 is less than 3. Said another way, 3 is greater than negative 2. Both statements say the same thing. Another way to think about the inequality symbol is that the head of the arrow points to the smaller number, the one that is farther to the left on a number line. Let's look at a few examples to confirm our understanding of this concept. Suppose we want to compare negative 2 to positive 18. Since negative 2 is farther to the left on the number line than 18, we would use the comparative sign to show that negative 2 is smaller. The arrow points to negative 2. We read this as negative 2 is smaller than 18. How about trying a more difficult example? Suppose we want to compare the expression 4 times the quantity of 5 plus 1, and we want to compare it to 20. In order to compare these two expressions, we have to find a simpler form for the expression on the left. Remember our lesson on the order of operations? First, we would simplify the contents of the parentheses, 5 plus 1, which is 6. Then we multiply 4 times 6 to get 24. The number on the right is smaller, so the symbol points to it. Let's compare numbers that really don't look the same. 50% and 6 tenths, for example. For this example, we can again have to think about our earlier work in number conversion. We can either change 50% to a decimal or 6 tenths to a percent. I'm going to change each number to an equal decimal since that is easier for me. If you remember our mini lesson on converting percents to decimals, you will remember that 50% is the same as 0 0.50 because we move the decimal point two places to the left and drop the percent sign. 6 tenths is the same as 0 0.60 since we can add as many zeros to the right of a decimal point without changes in its value. Six 50 hundredths is smaller than 60 hundredths, the comparison symbol points to the smaller number. So we know that 50% is smaller than 6 tenths. In this lesson, we reviewed the basic symbols of inequality. We used a number line to orient ourselves to the concept of comparing numbers by considering which expression is bigger. Finally, we looked at a few examples to check for understanding. Thanks for watching this lesson on comparing numbers. We hope to see you again soon in another lesson.